Hang on a tail. Hi, Fred. Hey, what's happening, Fred? Well, well, Brother Bubba, do come in. <laughs> Brother Bubba? Hey, you don't tell me you got it. It arrived this morning. Yeah? Bubba, you are now talking to the very right Reverend Fred G. Sanford. Yeah. And the G stands for going to heaven. <laughs> hey, this, this looks legal. Well, it better be legal because he took me for 10 bucks. Sure, it's legal, Lamont. Didn't you see that guy on television talking about it? Man, he's selling them things by the thousands. Yeah, but what good is it? What good is it? Okay. Did you ever hear of a church paying taxes? Huh? Answer me. Upon this junk, I shall build my church. <laughs> I'm a divine prophet, and that's what I call divinely profitable. <laughs> hey, man! <laughs> you better not play with the good book, you old heathen. Or the Lord will cast you into the fiery furnace. As in your case, I'm available for exorcisms. I can take you somewhere and beat the devil out you. Fred Sanford, you are immoral, indecent, blasphemous, and the fires of hell is gonna reach right up and pull you down. Go in, dear little faith. Vengeance is mine, <laughs> and ugly is yours. Get thee behind me, Satan. Her glory. <laughs> Have you read any of those documents yet? It says in order for a church to be tax exempt, it has to be a corporation, man, with a president, a treasurer, and a secretary. That's right. I'm the president, and you and Bubba are all the president's men. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Just count me out of this, because it's wrong, and I don't think it's legal. It is legal. If the big churches can do it, then why can't the little churches do it? I mean, it's called free enterprise, dummy. Now, I can't believe that you and Bubba would use the church for a get-rich-quick scheme, man. It's not right, and both of you know it. Now, this Bishop Lovelace guy who runs the church is getting rich, selling those franchises all over the country. That doesn't make it legal, Bubba. I got a friend that's a lawyer, and I'm going to call him up, and he's going to check this thing out. But if he doesn't say what I want to hear, I'm going to grab him by his briefs and habeas his corpus. <laughs> well, it's legal, all right. Constitutionally, that is. What is that supposed to mean? Let me put it like this. There's no law to stop it. You see, Article One of the Constitution states that Congress shall make no laws respecting the establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. You see, son, like you always told me, I need more exercise thereof. <laughs> well, the signed application was, in effect, a legal contractual instrument. And without saying it, Lamont, that's about all I can tell you, except be careful, because these things can backfire on you. Well, thanks a lot for coming over, Walter, and, you know, going to all the trouble. Oh, no trouble at all. Let me know how it turns out. OK, look, I'll tell you what, uh, just send me uh, a bill for your services, OK? Oh, no charge. Consider a donation to the church. That hey, be. that's very nice of you. Now, when you come to my services, I'll save you a front seat. Well, that's very nice of you, Mr. Sanford, but I'm of a different sect. That's the trouble with the world today. Too much sex. <laughs>